a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly burp, a deadly poot, a deadly fart, a deadly diddly body, a deadly class trial. I don't even feel like I deserve to dance to the... Alright, alright, what? Good job, welcome back, hey, to some more dangin' Ropa. Man, it's been so long since I played this game, and I'm already hearing y'all in the comments. It's like, it's like, it's just whenever I need to hear it, y'all let me know. Chapter 4, Investigation. This seems like the accurate one. Let's do it. If you remember what we left off, how y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great day as well. Um, you know, nobody's in school right now or should be in school except for these motherfuckers, right? And they can't get out. They don't have no Christmas break. All right. What, what do you want? You said you wanted to, to talk to me about something. Let me make sure my stuff is recording. We really just hopped into this now. Okay, look, I know it looks like I'm wearing a girl beanie because I am, you know, don't worry about who, what girl it is or whatever the case. Just know I didn't want to look dirty like I was wearing the same exact outfit I had on yesterday because I definitely changed right before I did. What do you do? Yeah, I do. I'm here. I wanted to talk about the fact that uh, Sakura had asked to meet with you. Yeah, we know about that. <laughs> wow. I don't know what you're t t talking about. Kuya already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? <laughs> she wanted to meet with Master 2? <laughs> ah, I just said 2, didn't I? Yeah. I guess now it's... I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Y yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it, or what's up? <laughs> I admit I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was so scared, so I couldn't bring my myself to go. Hmm. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Maybe you should ask Genocide Jill, that demon inside of her body. Yeah, she has something different to say. Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Mm -hmm. Is that good enough? Then I'm gonna go back to my, my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Toko's account has been added. All right. Um, what do we need to go do next? Maybe I should head back to the room. Or no, let me let me see real quick. Who needs to be talked to? Just gotta remember the controls. Here we go. All right. This as fast as this goes. Come on, bruh. Hey. Hey, let me turn that up in my ears. Let me, let me, let me turn that up in my ears. Um. Okay, so now we're gonna go talk with uh, who she considers master, Mr. Kuya, right here. Hello, Kuya. This is Kuya's room. It has nothing to do with the case. Are you sure? Oh man, see, I don't remember where Kuya said he was gonna go. Maybe he's still in that room. Um, I can just look on the map. Shoot. All right, they're saying I need to collect some more information. So let's see who to talk to next. Who's even still alive? Chihiro, Celeste, Sa Sak, Sakura. Okay, let me, let me try and talk to Hina real quick. Let's see what she got to say. Absolutely nothing. All right, cool. Um, let's see who else is here. Leon, Hero. We haven't talked to Hero yet. I'm guessing. I pressed the doorbell. Here we go. And after a few seconds, you know, what's up, Makoto? Did you need something? <laughs> yes, I do. I actually just wanted to check something. Do you have any Banyan Kush? Let me just... <laughs> I'm just playing. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? What? How did, how, did you, how did you know about that? Could it be? Uh, or did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. <laughs> Ogre told me herself that she asked Kuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Oh, well, oh, well uh, uh, um... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note, you lying son of a bitch? <sighs> yeah, uh, uh, a note. Uh, she, uh, How about that? 
She gave it to me in person. And she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura. You got it all wrong! N no way! I totally didn't! Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually... The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then! While I'm here, could you show me that note she gave you? Uh, um... Oh, um, do I still have it? Oh, let's see, uh... Hero was fooling around in his pockets. He knows exactly where the note is, trying to act like it's in each different pocket. Hey, come on! Ah, oh, sorry, looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did it, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh, Hero, what is that? Is that a maxi? What you got going on? What? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pockets. What's up with Hero in these notes when it comes to these, these hey, murders? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, uh, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash. What? what? Any anyway, I, I I can't deny that Ogre asked me to asked to meet with me, but I never went. So if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slid back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Nice. Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hiro. Hmm, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found in the floor of the rec room. Sure, it must have come from the chem lab. Where should I start? Let's start with the chem lab. You seem to be more intrigued with that, and then we'll circle back around to the actual crime scene. Crime scene! Crime scene! All right. Here we are, the physics lab. Oh, this is where that big ass contraption was. I'm like, if protein came out of this machine, who you, who you trying to look like? Cell, fourth, fourth generation, fourth version? Y'all know Cell used to eat just to suck up humans and become bigger. Ogre was already big as hell, and now Ogre dead. R.I.P. Ogre. Everything's back to normal. Just like with Sayaka and Chihiro, Monokuma's responsible, I'm sure. Okay, so let's check out- Man, this is loud again. This tarp was used when Taka was killed, but it's unrelated to what's going on now. Alright. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust too, they obviously haven't been used in a long time. Okay. Okay, not much over there. Here we go. Let's get to the- let's get to the- let's get to the drug. There's a bunch of files here, probably old lab files or research data. Wow, this showed me absolutely nothing. Is that the TV? That looked nasty from the side. That looked like a Super Smash Bros. item. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Being scared of it won't do any good. Better off just ignoring it completely. Oh, the chem lab. I'm in the physics lab. My fault, my fault, my fault. Let's get up out of here. I meant to go to the chem lab. Instead, I ended up at the physics. Oh my gosh, we're not even gonna try. Look, 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 look. Now that we look back at it, pause. What's his name is gone. Interesting. Where did he go? He's probably in the. Oh, he might be in the chem lab. That's it right here? Yeah, he's in the chem lab. Let's go meet up. What you doing in here? Hey! Hey, what you doing in here? What? What? Makoto. Did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. I understand. What is this nigga talking about? Look at this nigga high water ass pants. He stiff ass cordu corduroy pants. Corduroy? They're not even corduroy. This isn't my first time seeing this show, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. That's fine. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf, but more importantly right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. How about we look at it, examine it, get closer, sniff it, taste it, maybe. 
There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4? Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then, this powder must have been spilled. So, in other words... That's right. Oh, I, I meant to say that. That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. That really is what happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Nice. Alright, uh... You want to talk about some things, Kuya, or what's up? So, on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no, that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're re regions. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be a bliss. It, isn't that kind of harsh, asshole? What? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now, I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section B. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, in which case I don't think I have to worry about this shelf. We gotta look at the C then. You know you said that C4 missing. Put some put two and two together. You don't need my help for everything, Makoto. And this shelf is. Won't look and I can tell this is nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. And then we got A, which has nothing going on, right? All kind of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Huh? But wait, there's more! There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Interesting. Could someone have put it here on accident? Hold up. If, if they put the Chem C9 in the dietary supplement section when Sakura came in and drank her drink and went for the powder, she probably poured some poison in her shit. So that means she was killed. I thought it might have been dishonor and she killed herself, but maybe not. Maybe not. Could someone have put it here on accident? I should try to find out more about this shelving unit. Sakura doesn't seem like the type of girl to kill herself either though, I'll be honest. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary... yeah, okay. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A, there is also a... What was the bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? That's my point exactly. There's definitely something going on here. Or they try to frame it. But why would somebody try and frame a murder and we get it wrong and then we all dead? Like, I don't think somebody would do that. Chem Lab Shelf has been added to the truth bullets. Nice. I've seen enough here. Dude. Dude. You need me to look at the actual, what is that? Look like baby poo. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. Oh! Did those just appear here? I was not... I did not see that! I'm a terrible detective. These are footprints? And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How did these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go! Chop, chop! Uh, okay. Damn. So I got to work, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Uh, this beat crank. Um, so, how's this? <laughs> Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? Fuck off! Let me chill. Let me chill. Makado wouldn't act like that. I see. So, when you look at it like this... Interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. Ugh, cool your heart. I see. 
These footprints must be... It's certainly possible. Makoto, are they yours? No! What? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of any reason not to, so I quietly did what Kuya said. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. <laughs> well, I, f- I feel like I'm slowly turning into Captain Falcon when I talk like this. Unfortunately. Hmm. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints are a really valuable clue. I should probably take a good and hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Kuya, the powder would have would had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Oh man, they be wrapping it up like you don't be following the story at all. They wrap it up like you don't be playing the game as consistently as you should. Let's be honest, Berlizzi. You fucking keep letting me down! Every time I destroy a set of headphones. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. Cool, let's keep looking then. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to waste. But I got time to learn. Learn and explore and find all the clues left behind by these doing crime, by those doing crime. Makoto, I admit you have a good eye for spotting useful clues. (laughs) But you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. Okay, he gave me a little bit of respect. What else is there to look at? What the hell is that? Oh, the monitor? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm good in here. Yes, I'm good in here. Um, Let's go look at the crime scene again. Here we go. Look at that missing window, good lord. Hey. <clears throat> so Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. So along with Kuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient, someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. He said that, like he was disappointed in his, in, his, in his schoolmates, his classmates. He's like, someone's lying. Again, these motherfuckers just can't stop killing. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. Sakura's body. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, but I just got here and she still stinks. Can you get off my shoulder? Hey, f- you, you're musty. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversively used, for, used to. Perversely used to. Although, there are still some times... I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to this. It's true. That's totally normal. Then, how can you? So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? That's not something that you just casually throw in conversation, Kyoko. Sorry, never mind. Hey. What? More importantly, look here. Her shoes? What, their biscuits? Correct. You see that yellow powder in her, on her instep? Yeah, it really... Yo, she killed herself, bro. There's no way around this. Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is clue number one. Yellow powder has been added to the truth bullets. Nice. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. So, just let me explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow but instead received two blows to the head. Oh my god, I, I, I just don't know. Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So, that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. 
All right, thank you, Kyoko. Sexy ass. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. All right, let's look at the uh, bookshelf now, they said. Hold up. Which shelf? This one? It's got to be. I think Kyoko said she'd found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. I bet she didn't even say anything about a bookshelf. Something new, something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. They're, they're all uh, 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 pieces of chess that, 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 that matter, huh? A correlation. Um, hey, Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards the clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. Just tell me what the clue is. I'll come to my own shit. Ew, pause. Ew. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Well, I mean, you didn't tell her what you had, what you had known about Secure to begin with. Here we go. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Damn, am, am I Bill Nye? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the small, smaller pieces, too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Kui is not here, so... So then... Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I'd better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken pieces. Just as I finished up... Sorry to keep you waiting. So then... Why did they have the, the question marks there like... Ugh... Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. What kind of experiment are we doing? In other words... I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? <laughs> the pieces of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Come on, Makoto. Come on, dude. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yep, it's balanced. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be it's still balanced, or the pieces I collected will be lighter because there's less. Yeah. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, then let's give it a try. Hmm. Their broken pieces are heavier? How, how is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles. You put it all together. Yeah. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. I think whatever was used to bash her in the back of the head was real glass, and this shit isn't. Which means that glass maybe came from somewhere else, which may mean that's not really a Monokuma bottle. I I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm. A clue, a clue. Maybe it's that big blood splat in the very front. Huh? This magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it, touching the crime scene. Detective work, forensic file, mistake number one. Do not touch the evidence. You don't want to be involved. Th this is... One of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in blood. Bloody letters. Togo? Could this be? 
a dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. This game just keeps throwing like curveballs. This is a great game. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However. But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um. Hey, hey, hey is that? That says Togo, right? It, yeah, it looks like what it. What the heck? Then she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. I will forgive you. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We, we can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Magazine dying message. We got to do a little bit of the trial. I, mean, I, I probably can't finish the trial of this video, but we're going to do some trial. F*** that. Whoops, he had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Monokuma's a he a bitch. I would love for him to be in the fighter pass for Smash. I'm going to keep talking about Smash. I would love to him for, for him to be in the fighter pass. Just so I can hit him with a motherfucking fucking bitch. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Yeah. Please go through the red door. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn. It's already time? The mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No. Not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. He loved trying to have like a final statement. F*** out of here. Every time you get in this class trial, they always sun you. Monokuma made his announcement and everyone began to meet up one after another. And then... <laughs> The ultimate martial artist! A locked room murder mystery! What? What the? <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive! Yes, indeed! For example, <laughs> you're at a picnic and you find a dead body! <sighs> this is just plain creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? Here. No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, hmm. do you have a hundred friends? What? What? He's right. That, that, that does make it seem sad. I can't wait. I Maybe. can't wait. Please get on the elevator. <laughs> I'll see you all down there. That always looks like Kirby to me. I know people type that, but that's Kirby, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the hell is that? <sighs> I don't get it. I don't Just get it. the worst. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? D don't look at me. I, I, I don't think I'm acting casual. I did it. <laughs> don't right? be mean. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. What the hell was that sentence right there? Come on, bruh. What the heck? Yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. Hm. Either way, the truth will be re revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I knew. I know, currently. And yet, someone killed her. And that person is here? That person is one of us? I gotta talk to Hero one more time. What did you just say? D don't look at me! Kuya. Hmm. Toko. What the heck? Hina. What the heck? Shut up. Hey. Then that settles it. It's time to put an end to this. There's six of us. 
But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. We watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar clunking sounds. It fell lower and lower, and as suddenly as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Mm. Just the six of you, huh? Really? This is kind of That's so few. You must be so lonely. You said it like it's not your fault. We're all left. We're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder. Will the class trial end with one less classmate again, or <laughs> will your school life come to an end completely? Now then. Are we ready to begin? You know the drill, find your assigned seats. Manukuma voice make my throat hurt every time. And so, the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly burp, a deadly poot, a deadly fart, a deadly diddly body, a deadly class trial. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out, we know. then I'll punch. We now know. then. We already know who did it. Here we go. This is what I'm here for. Whoa. Deja vu. Take it off auto. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. Yeah, cool you cool you've been calling her ogre ever since he met her. That shit is disgusting, even though I did say it. My bad. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> uh, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah! I'd never kill someone, no way! I don't wanna hear your stupid excuses! Hina turned up right now. Hina seems really sure that one of those three is the killer. But she must have some reason for believing that. This is what y'all been asking for, that dangin', that dangin', that dangin' energy. Togo's account, Hina's account, Kuya's account. Those are my three bullets, let's load them up, fire the it chamber. Was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her! Is that it? That doesn't it. make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. There's got to be some reason why Hina feels so strongly. Oh, it's because, uh... It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you... Because you all... You hated her! Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have... How, how you shoot the bullet? Trying to using us? Okay. That's low. That's about as low okay, okay, as okay, you okay. can get. I'm assuming that it has to be Hina's account because she saw the word Toko. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason did? Because you all you hated her. Is that it? That the That's the only reason you have for accusing us. That's low. Okay. That's about as low as you can get. That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Oh my gosh! Excellent gameplay, Another right? Another reason like, Come you on, suspect bro. them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Thank you. Talk about it. Yeah, and that was right before she died. Literally. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. Let's go. I can't disagree with Hina. There's good reason to suspect all three of them. Then does that mean one of them did it, though? Oh gosh, round two? Footprints, status, pocket trash. Footprints, status, pocket trash. The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them? Uh-huh. There's no way that's not suspicious. 
one of you is absolutely guilty. Hell yeah. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Come on. There's no way none of you went. At least one of you is lying. Yo, here, let me talk to you. Let me talk the to you. That Sakura, there's no way that one of you is at I don't deny that I never went to see her. I didn't either. Okay. Yeah, same here. Shut your I ass up. Shut your no, ass that's up. Wrong. Yeah, that's just super wrong. The, the worst, the most wrong. The wrongest. Hero, when we were talking before, wrong you senior. dropped a small piece of paper, remember? Wrong senior. It was white with red polka dots. Are you on the... What? What's that got to do with anything? He got some leakage. Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. Mm. No, it's... It's... Um... Mm -mm. What is it? Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. Mm -hmm. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hero, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation. Here we go. Uh, um, look at him, look at him. You always know when, some, when that sound comes, somebody just shit their pants, and that was the flu going right back to right back down. Well, Wait, what? I mean, yeah, sure, I got it from huh? her, but but she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. Uh -huh. When? When did she give it to you? Yeah, when? When, player? Let me make sure everything's recording. The last time you saw Sakura was when Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. Mm-hmm. But what Hiro said can't be right because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. The reason I know that is... I got it! I'm not sure about that, Hiro. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no... Whoops. ...reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean, what I meant was, uh... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Oh, don't try and be tough to me now, bro. What a sudden hostility. That's what I'm saying. Who are you right now? But we just talked. That's all. I didn't do anything. You gotta believe me. You're acting incredibly suspicious. Oh, Toko turning on now, too. I like it. You're acting incredibly suspicious. Look at him. More hostility. It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit. I even have proof. Uh-oh. This is like Treyway. Everybody turning on each other. Huh? B proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. <laughs> Hold up. Who's who? Is that 6 9 What would a shining message even be? At the be? scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in uh, her own snitch. blood. Right? Snitch. It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw Sayaka. it for myself. Sayaka, yo, little dude who be making them videos talking about the way I say. Wait, that's a whole different person. My bad, little dude. Keep doing your thing. See? See? Toko did it! What are you saying? No way! I didn't do it! You just don't know when you're beat, do ya? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Wow. Uh, hold on. But when Kyoko found the magazine with the dying message, it was... I got it! Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? D doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! 
No, there's an obvious problem with what Hero said before. It's got to be the fact that um, the magazine wasn't in the in the rack, right? I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. Shoot! I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. I'm gonna I'm read, I I'm can read tell all you the responses. Exact when Ogre's body was and I can tell you it was only after I found the magazine. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. Maybe I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. <laughs> Shoot! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body. Oh. He couldn't have found it when Ogre's body was discovered because it was already on the magazine shelf by that time. Body was discovered. Exactly when Ogre's body was and I can tell you it was only after I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. And I'm gonna shoot it at what Hero is saying. What I said makes total sense. No, what I'm finna say is gonna make. I can tell you exactly when I found the duck when Ogre's body was discovered. Okay. Move, shoot it up. Let's go! No, that's wrong! When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. Aye. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation. That sounds more like the truth. And you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. That's what he sounded like. Tell us the said. truth, hero. When did you see the message? <laughs> Hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? Because it's a dying message and she's dead, you dumbass! All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us and we know who the killer is! Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one! He disrespectful! He's just trying to confuse us! Actually... Can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Mmm, there you go. Um, yeah? <laughs> um, no? <laughs> no? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. Look at your face. You look like a geisha. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Without a doubt? No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. This is another truth bullet? Oh, the moment of truth. Whoa. Okay. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. The end is nigh. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30%. I never know how to fucking do this dumb... Let me chill. The occult is bullcrap! Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap! The end is nigh! Can't hear you, can't hear you! Oh yeah, I just Conspiracy. came back. The end is nigh! Can't hear you, can't hear you! Got you. Show me the proof. This should prove it. Oh, we, well, we shut this shit down early. I like it. I love it, actually. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. 
Both of her hands were completely free of blood. Ooh, good point. So what? Then, who did write it? Hiro could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <clears throat> yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh-oh, did we end this right now? Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But... Why would you write something like that? B because... BECAUSE I KILLED HER! A word? You're admitting to killing her. Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. What a fool. Shut up, Kui. He just admitted it. Shut your dumb ass up. And when I got there... Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I asked a couple of other people to meet as well. Uh, okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Uh, oh, oh sh sure. Thanks. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. In awkward silence? <laughs> Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. Damn it, I knew it was still suicide. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was gonna try and kill me. She was gonna kill me and make her escape. This dude high as f didn't even catch what she was talking about. Are you that brain dead? You just lit in a bitch. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind, before she had any idea what was happening. Wow. Then she just... went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me, boil me, do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. Hey, it's been death. She ain't wrong. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hiro's story. Mm. What are you talking about? What else could there be? The suicide attempt before he did that? There's one thing that Hiro's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. Oh, why she invited the three of them? Well, it wouldn't be that strange for... Okay, alright. What? Shoot! But you didn't embarrass yourself. You're the only one trying to piece it together. Why didn't Hero put blood on Sakura's finger to make it look like she'd written it? Yeah, who cares? Shoot! Who cares about that, Berlin? Come on, bro. How much health is that left? It's like, you're barely, you're on life support right now. How are you even standing, saying anything with that? I got it! That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh! Well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Oh, bro. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then... Who was it? 
If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Hmm. Someone who wouldn't like what had been written, there's only one choice, it's Toko, I got duh. It. duh. It had to be Toko, right? Hmm. <gasps> who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Hmm. Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait, but more important... Look at Hifumi. <laughs> that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it. That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hiro attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. Sakura. All right, little dude who be making them videos. Making fun of the way I say this woman's name. Sakura, Sakura, Sa Saker, whatever. Sakura. Sakura. What do you mean? What he means is that Hiro isn't the killer. How? You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hiro, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Sakura. Um, so... What do you want me to do? Give me a play-by-play, -play, brother. Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. Why are you happy about it? Don't smile. You're not getting off. We haven't reached the end of this case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer, and I have to prove that. Oh my god. Oh my bullets. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. All right. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. Interesting. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. Uh, After the uh, first swing, the bottle said there, was, there was two blows. There was two blows to her head. Hero really is the killer. Yep. I didn't want to, but I grabbed a monocoon and I hit Ogre from behind. You, hit her, but... and you only hit her once. Is that? Yeah, just once. No, he did not. Nice. No, that's wrong. Maybe I should have used that aim. Uh, what are they called? If on Sakura bullets? died from Hero's single blow. That doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Somebody else came behind. Oh wow. Huh? Two? There's only one broken bottle. That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. Shut your ass up, nigga. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Oh. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chess piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? Oh, she's sweating now. That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. What, there's no queen piece or what? The, mon the correlation between the Monokuma bottles, I feel like the connection must be... It's the, it's the type of chess piece. Whoa, what is this? Hangman's Gambit? Oh, man. Uh... Chess piece. You really gotta beat. You already gotta beat these letters up. That's hilarious. Ugh. 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 
Where the pee at? Give me the pee. Where the pee at? Give me the pee. I love pee. You know I love pee. Wait, pee is in uh uh puh, not not pee. I love puh. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Where's the E at? Let's end this. Where's the E at? Let's end this. Thank you. I'm like, come on now. Hangman's Gambit. Now That's I a, understand. Can I get some more health bars? Can I get some more health bars? Uh, That's it. The chess pieces. What's the name of the dude who made this game? <laughs> it don't matter. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knight, if I remember. Mm. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. Break it down to In her. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. Whoops. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Mm. Oh, so the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Shogi is yeah. way better. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this cake. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No, it's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. In the bottle, wait, in the bottle that was missing. Shoot! Oh, dumbass. Okay, okay, okay. I got it! My the fault. bottle must have been broken. I was checking the text, my fault. I missed a little bit, but I'm still here. Focus. Let's see Maris again. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. Mm -hmm. And what is this evidence? It wasn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves this is... I got it! Nice. Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Wow. Uh, so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. Mm. But when they did... They must have left behind a few too many pieces. This is this is smart ass anime. Like whoever wrote this, they really did they think. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. You see me try and compliment the anime after I wasn't paying attention? But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There can be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by... I got it! The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack. So they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh yeah, when you act like that, you you're getting my vote easily, easily. You're not finna look like that across from me, and I'm not finna say who did it. Um, that crazy bitch over there grabbing her hands and like dying in front of us. She's next. And there's the she's, matter she's already of the ahead of us. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait, I admit maybe there was a second attack, but but there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy <laughs> I am. Oh, that's funny. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it! Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there. And that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. Mm. You did. Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But what? When I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. The locker. The locker. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. Mm. What? Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. Whoa. Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. No, it's not ridiculous at all. There's definitely proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. A new element. Uh, no, I don't care. <laughs> F I should have looked that up, huh? It's okay. I'm gonna do my thing. The moment of truth. It's a lie! I admit nothing! I hate you! I curse you! No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing! I curse you! I curse you! It's a lie! That's enough! It's a lie! I admit nothing! I hate you! I curse you! No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing! I curse you! I curse you! It's a lie! Oh, I did it! That's enough! Whoa! Whoa! What? Why? What? That's enough! Hiding in the rec room, don't be ridiculous. I don't even remember seeing a fingerprint in the locker, I'll be honest. Did you know someone left a handprint behind oh. on the inside of the locker? That's right, that's right. They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Or you was in there with Master getting it in. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up. Yeah! <laughs> Act like that, you got my vote. Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang! She just straight up admitted it! What else is she gonna do? Then you killed Sakura! No! I swear, there's no way! Out with it. I probably did kill her. She having that... Uh, what?! Oh my god, she must be a Gemini. Straight up again?! Wait! What do you mean, probably? That's the genocide's trying to trying to escape right now. Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? She can't remember, but I bet genocide can't ask her to show up. Look, talk now. Kuya, you are not intimidating when you're not me. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go, but I was too scared to. Face her head on. Oh, you a pub. You a cool. I can't say pub, bro. That's somebody else's verbiage, and I don't think he want me using it. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. Then, did 
you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Mm, mm. Well, that's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. Mm. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Ooh. Yeah, you know what she means. There she get. Hello. Ah, guess who's back? <laughs> she kind of growing on me. Oh, she don't get clapped right now. It was your fault after all. My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights. Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. Wow. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well, <laughs> I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! That's what they do to black men. I probably could've done the same thing, showed up, bloody, trying to trying to get help, trying to see if you're okay. Oh! Blah, 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 blah. That's what the police do. Let me stop, though. I'm gonna get off my soapbox. But don't act like the police don't be shoot first, ask questions later when it come to, you know people. No! She's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Okay. Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. <laughs> Don't drag me into it. That seemed like a little bit of foreshadowing. Maybe next case? Nah, cool you're not gonna die off. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway... I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! So that's good? Keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Well then, that's that! Let's start the boat! I agree, shit. Huh, I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. Makoto, what are you trying to say right now? What's wrong? Come on everyone, we're ready to vote, what, right? What's Let's do this! What's going on right now? No, not quite yet. <laughs> No! Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? 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 Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You wish is my command, darling! It's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is... What are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? What are you trying to tell me? The yellow powder, I guarantee that's, that's gonna be the, the bullet. I was just sleeping peacefully. And all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me! I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. And you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! 
And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shell! Ow! Oh, this is good! I was just... And all oh of a sudden, my god! And you were taken by some. So you smashed her. Oh my god! And where did the attack? Right Hold I on! Woke up. I killed her there in front of the shell. No, no. Oh wow! Because the footsteps. Wait, are, are footsteps an option? I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, I remember waking up. And you were taken by some. So you smashed her. You got it! I smashed her good. And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up. I Is killed it? her there in front of the shell! Wait, what? Let me think, let me think, let me think. And all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me! I remember when Maybe it has to right do with Sakura's body. You were taken by so you smashed her! You got it! And where did the attack- Right when I woke up, I killed her there in front of the shell! Try this one. Okay. No, okay. that's wrong! Yeah, that is wrong. Yo, what are we learning right now, brother? We found Sakura sitting upright yeah, in a exactly, chair. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Look at Hina! Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. It has to be it. The evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. You know, no, present it. Present it. I got it! Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Right, right. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? Somebody did. All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. How did... How could... How could her little ass move that big body? Hey, come body? on now, look at me! I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors! Thank you! There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that! Not alone! Then... then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? Don't Kuya look like, uh, white I'm Dante a little bit? <laughs> but... but... Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Is that what she did, Hina? Oh, so she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. I mean, maybe. No. I don't think that's possible. Okay, tell me why. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding in the locker is because... You saw it beforehand, that's right. You're right. I got it! You saw it beforehand. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. Look at her arms, damn! So obviously Toko couldn't have been hiding... Goals! <sighs> Okay, then. Where was she hiding? I don't know. What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying! What's going on right now? No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And... Well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Mmm, could we really be missing something so important? If there's another possible explanation, maybe it's... Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is crazy. Oh, oh, the yellow powder. No, that had to do with the chem lab. Let's just see what they're talking about. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. I'm gonna just have it ready. That killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? The shot to the head? Nah. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? 
There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? Maybe if I take the shot to her head and contradict it with what no was other it that way. Killed Uger? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible that killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than so you're dead. No, that wouldn't be it. That wouldn't be it. The yellow powder what has nothing to do with that. Ogre? Maybe Kyoko. If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other that killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. What is in Monokuma Ooh. file four? If it wasn't from Genocide maybe that Jill's would, attack. Maybe the Monokuma's file tells you it? that there's more than one option. There's I just no can't remember other what it is. What I mean, I know Sakura. what it is, but it's not. It's not any of these options. I'm gonna just try. Other than the shot to her. No, that's wrong. I, everything else was not working. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. Vomited blood. Okay, that's the other thing. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause now of death. Now we can talk about the poison. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. No. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. Mm, tell her, Kyoko. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Um, how about that C4 that was broken in the chem lab that none of y'all went to except for me, I'm gonna tell you. Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison oh, her. Oh, cool, you're finna step you up now. Explain it? Hina, you're so f***ing whack of for this. Of course, if you don't mind. You got some big old, you got some tig old bits, but man, you, you whack. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. <laughs> the key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Yep. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along! You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. Just shut up, There's hero. a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Mm. Is that... the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. Mm. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. Mm. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, Reagent. a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Get your pepperoni-ass pupils. Oh my gosh, Satan. Well... That's the question, isn't it? A bottle of poison Kuyu just showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. Oh, Shoot. sir. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. See, that? that's what happens when I start trying to read a text message. Bro, I'll be here for two plus hours or something like that. I, got it. I can check my phone. The poison was actually in Section A, wasn't it? Huh? But you just said that Section A was for supplements or whatever. I know what I said, sir. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Mm -hmm. Wh what do you mean? Look at Hina. What do you mean? You know exactly what, what he means, and he's finna tell you right now. Look at Monokuma kind of side-eyeing her a little bit like, Hold up, I didn't expect this one! I mean, this. I don't think any of us did. I couldn't believe my eyes. Kuya put the bottle of poison to his lips and... Huh? Master! 
Whoa, whoa. We were so shocked that we were seeing. All we could do was stand there and watch. Kuya, you are so extra for this, though. Stop. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Kuya was as calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh, no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? What? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Kuya and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched her finger to this her is... tongue. It's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? <clears throat> the bottle of poison was actually filled with protein powder, which would mean that conversely, the protein must have been, could it be? We know what it is. I'm finna do my thing. Um, that reads, I'ma just... Whoa, what letter is that? Oh, an I, obviously. Bro, you... Okay, I'm like, bro, I know it's spelled poison, what's going on? What's in the pro? What's in the poison is actually protein... Protein drink. Sure, <laughs> sure. Thank you, protein... D-R-I... Don't run from me, I... And... Why am I still taking heart losses from this? Protein drink, thank you. Now I understand. Mm, I am loved, the dinner just arrived. I know y'all eating yourselves, so get off me. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. That's hot. <laughs> if the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. Mm. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Absolutely it was. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Mm. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Wow. I got it! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. Yeah, we get that part, Kuya. What? Look at Hina, you're caught. That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. You guys have calling her Ogre, bro. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Idiot. Hina, you are an idiot. The evidence is the... 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 the footprint. I got it! The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. Wow. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It was me. Oh, shit. The footprints. They're mine. Oh, you're going on auto mode. Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then, 
Ogre's killer was. Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. Wow. What a twist. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... I got it! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you... Fair. That's fair. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... Wow. I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... the two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Wow. Hina used that trust to kill her. Fucking betrayal. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. Betrayal. I have to say, Hina, Coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But... When I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Wow. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? Fake ass friend. That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And and then hold it. I'm not convinced. You're Whoa. not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Okay. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Right, say something. What are you talking Don't about? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. What are you, are talking, you about? talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well... But that doesn't matter! Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? Yeah! No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Why are you about to die? Sure, tell you you know. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. Are you sure about that? What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That... that was... I was just... nervous. So... I, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah. That's just how it was. What can I do? 
Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Why are you afraid of telling Hina, us? Please. I'd like to know too. Come on, girl. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away I went to section C and got the poison. Okay. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. Hmm, okay. I see. Okay then, go on. That fool got my head sweating. So now then it's I fire. moved to section A Literally. and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. And figuratively. Once I was done with that, uh -huh. I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. Hmm. That story you just told. First you went to Section C to get the poison, then moved to Section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from Section C to Section A. Do I have that correct? Oh, but the map says otherwise. Y yeah. But if that's true... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Can you repeat that series of events one more time? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. Big Mac. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't caught this yet, Kui. You're the main one who made me write this shit down, and now you can't figure it out. That's stupid. How long? Oh, he's talking about how long? Like, he, he even tired of doing this. That's hilarious. Okay, let's see. It's the footprints, easily. First, I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground and- Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I drove- Okay. And then, I moved from section C to section- No, that's wrong! Easy enough. Am I still recording? You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from Section C to Section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. Mm. Oh. 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 Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? You're so gullible. No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? What the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well... You lied to us. Plain and simple. Whack. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Ew. What's going on? Well, you see... What, what the... What the hell? What's going on here? Kuya, are you involved? Why are you acting like this? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. What? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. Ooh, ooh. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did? Ooh! It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Kyoko on her shit right now. Okay, Just go. say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. A piece of glass. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed. Thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, 
Why don't you explain it? Huh? Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you right now. Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. So there's a few places where glass that came from. The Monokuma bottle, the Monokuma bottle, or or the window, or I the window. It. Yeah, there we go. It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window really we broke to so get in was like blue, just off yet. like that. So I think that must be it. You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the rec room window? According to what Hina told us... I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh. Um, oh yeah, I'm catching everybody in their lie right yet, now. Somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. Wow. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Ah, that's where Hina Meanwhile, got involved. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Close your lips. <laughs> I, I get you, you're on fire, but stop. Wait, uh, hold on. You're so, moving too fast. Uh, so is your breath. <laughs> I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Sorry, y'all. I wasn't finished with dinner. How did I go finish eating? Well, no. Not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay, then. That settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Okay. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? The reason she can say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can to the rec room after it was open. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying... Someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible! It, it had to have been in there the whole time! It had to be! It was in there before the rec room was unlocked! I'm not even sure if this when is true. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. When it comes to Bro, that, there's not a doubt until the though, empty it ass absolutely protein so there's can. Someone plant? No. It, it had to have been Mo. in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was. Shut up. No, that's wrong. Tell me how it's wrong, Makoto. Talk to me. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. We also found pieces underneath the can. That's right. That is the key. What? And this proves it. 
it shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. Mm, mm. So it had to be after we got into the room. Mm. I, I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. Genius. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. Hmm. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please, tell us. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room, it had to, yeah. Shoot! <laughs> then it had to have been Ku uh, Kuya, right? Or Sakura got, oh wow, Sakura got it herself. I got it! I think it was Sakura herself. All right. <laughs> Man, that took us all over the place. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely went to section C. I have to get Hina to admit that. You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! Just let it end already! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! Just let it end already! You're a liar! Let it end already is exactly what I've wrong. been saying this whole time. You're wrong! I hate you! You're a liar! I'm telling you, I did it! I hate you! You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! Just let it end already! Bruh, I'm trying. Here. Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? This should prove it. <sighs> Thank the Lord. I think it's over. I think it's over. Such a long trial. I'm not just shooting. I Hina, can't do this. Did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? it she didn't even did? know that. It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. 
And we, we when Sakura was... dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? None, none at all, Makoto. We, we, we had an idea. You know, you do some twists and turns along the way, but I had a general idea that S Sakura did this to herself, so let's just wrap this up and we can be up out of here. But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. N no! It was me! I... the poison! Because... because... She trying to cover up for her friend's suicide. Because I killed her! What's wrong with you? No, you didn't kill her. There's only one way to explain it. Here's my answer. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. All right. <laughs> The killer was... Sakura? Yeah! Nigga! Wait, so you're saying... It was suicide? I don't believe it! I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! Believe it. I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. Yeah, well, guess what? It happens. People do this, which is why y'all need to make sure your friends are okay. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it, all so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. That's what I originally thought. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. That doesn't explain why Hina... And the well. empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room, until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? Why, though? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. Wow. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. Mm. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? Mm. I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. Mm. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. Talk about it. It's not that unusual. You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. Mm. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. Mm. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Okay. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... Peanut finna be broken for the rest of this series. I got everyone! Ew. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. Fact. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. Fact. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. For what, though? As long as you could disguise the truth. You didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? N no No! 
No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is! Mm. Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. No, 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 nigga. Come on, bruh. Fuck! Alright, and I think that should end it. Let's hope this is reenacted properly. Who is it? Oh, Riley? Huey Freeman? Uh, Boondocks. Y'all get it. Here's exactly what happened. He got a fro. He part black. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rectory. Yes, it did. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. Yes, they were. Fact. Fact, not fiction. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Mm -hmm. Toko, she got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding yes, spot. Yes, she did. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Crawling, that bitch. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Mm -hmm. Next to arrive was Hiro. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. You gotta chill. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. Foolish. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. Bitch for that. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear... Look at how he's running out of there. Let's go. She jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But in Let's her rush, she made one little mistake. Mm, what she do? She put the magazine back upside down. Yes, yeah, she did. Foolish. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. Poor Sakura, trying to stay alive. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. Why is Sakura holding her like that, though? This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura. And she freaked out. Mm -mm -mm. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. Damn. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Okay. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. Yeah. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards okay. and the queen chess piece. Yee. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. Oh, got you. Got you. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. Okay. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? She, you tell me. It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. Ha <laughs> ha! She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. Okay. And there, she took her final breath. All right. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. Okay. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. Smash it then, player. 
But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. Okay. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves. Mm -hmm. In an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. All right. And the one who went to all that effort... ...was you, Hina. That's the full truth of the case. All right, that took a bit longer. <laughs> Sakura took her own life. All right, let's do this. And you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? Maybe. That's what happened? But, Makoto, how did you... How did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? He finna be looking at me kind of differently now, too. He ain't gonna change, he gonna change. Huh? Oh, well, I mean... I'm smart. You still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. Damn, she frying you up, brother. <laughs> See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. All right. I'll take it. Should I'll take that one. Still can't save yet. The second I can save... Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. I voted. Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? I voted. <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. I voted, Monokuma. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote! So, who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I don't even know what he's trying to have happen right now because it's a suicide. He, he finna be weird about it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire existence! What, what did you say? So that's the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on! Hina, why did you try to cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest of us. What are you thinking? And yet you! Why did you do that? Don't be mean! Yeah, we almost died there! What is this? Because... That's exactly what I wanted! What? I mean... The reason Sakura died... Is because all of you pushed her into a corner! You! You all killed her! So that's why? You should have been the one to die! What? 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 You d don't mean... You were gonna take us all with you? We have to atone for our <laughs> sins. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? Before serious, that's... What is this? You still don't understand? Let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair 
Sakura was carrying with her when she died. Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. Oh. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault, after all. But now you're suffering because of me. No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! S Sakura... I... Because of me... My friends are all going to kill each other. This is all... My responsibility. <laughs> Sakura... Thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why... She wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with... <laughs> them! You asked to meet with those three? You can't! Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But... Talk about what? Um... Listen, don't do it. If they're all gonna gang up on you at once, even you... Hina... Please, don't think of things like that. They are not my enemy. They're friends. You think so? You thought Hina was a friend too? S Sakura. She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you just talked to her, you would have understood she was a friend to all of us. And yet. Why? And yet. You trampled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um... N no, no, that was just a, 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 a misunderstanding. A... What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking her a single question, you tried to kill her. I won't forgive you. Do you have any idea how desperate she was? Seeing you act like that, that's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Why? That's how far you pushed her. Damn. Huh? Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. Wow. Wait right here, I'll help you out. Hina. All right, don't say it to me twice like that. Same tone, same verbiage. Huh? Hina! Uh, I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? Some protein. Could I ask you to? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Just hang on, I'll be right back. I thought it starting to hurt, bro. This video like two hours long. Two, three hours long. That was the last conversation I had had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. <laughs> Sakura. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Did she have to die? She had weaknesses just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet... Why? You all blamed her. 
I tried to protect her and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. That's how it be. The, the strongest people, it's almost like, like when you think about a superhero, right? Like Batman. Batman went through a lot of up shit. I feel like I always talk about this dude, Batman. But imagine Batman is looking at Gotham and Gotham's like like a leaking faucet. Like a leaking like like a water like like a like a good city would be like a working water pipe. But a fucked up city like Gotham has like little leaks springing out the sides of it. And Batman's going like this, trying to clean up each of them. And it's like, oh I can't I can't do this. And then you got the weight of the world on his fingers, the weight of his own world on his back. He like Ah! And then he just drowned, but Batman never drowned. Damn, Batman might drown though if Alfred. Batman almost drowned when uh, when his city had turned on him. When he learned that Alfred, oh, I'm talking about Telltale Batman though. That's a different story. Y'all get the point though. Check in on people who you think are okay, because nine times out of ten, they going through something just like you are. Hina, we killed her, all of us. We pushed her into a corner and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> and that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during this class trial. <laughs> Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out in the end. I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tear jerker, but... Hey! It's just taking so long, 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 long! I'm about to fall asleep over here! <laughs> I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? What did you just say to me? Hmm... Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Opinion on what her suicide note meant. What are you saying? Of course I know what she was thinking because her and me. In other words. Well, what I'm really trying to say is. Yes, indeed. Don't you think the entire foundation is shaking? What if it was really like this? And we're going to have to stop the video right there. <laughs> this is getting super long. We did a whole closing investigation. Pre-trial prep, trial, conclusion, closing argument, resolution, and then we're about to get with another another plot, another plotty twisty. I'm cool. We can wait till after. We'll be right back next time. This trial was a bit different. Obviously, there were some serious topics being being talked about, and I don't want to like just brush over them if it's like, as if it's like, oh yeah, suicide. I'll see you in the next video. Love you, peace. If you are dealing with something and you feel like you can't talk to anybody just know that you are not alone and there are people out there willing to help you um, I'm gonna put the suicide hotline prevention number for those of you who feel like you have no one to talk to if you call them free of charge it's just a voice that will listen to you and hopefully try and understand where you're coming from life is a very fragile thing that I don't think any of us realize how beautiful it is until it's too late and y'all are beautiful people because y'all have found something in me that is worth watching day after day and i am extremely grateful for you all my bit my my bits of depression are like are like symptoms of something deep something deeper that i'm dealing with and um, it's more so like like I be dealing with like identity crisis. And uh, I mean I might talk about it in future videos, but I just want to let y'all know like 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 suicide and and thoughts of harming yourself, mental illness, and just like negative thoughts. Period. Plague everybody. And I feel like as time goes on, it gets worse and worse for those of us who are younger. Some of y'all in high school right now, I couldn't imagine having the weight of social anxiety the way that it is now, back when, the way that it is now, back when I was in high school, because I, I was always somebody who, like, thrived on knowing people like me, and as I started to do things for myself that people didn't resonate with, it kind of, 
it kind of conflicted with the idea I had of myself. Because it was almost like, well, people like me, which means I'm a good person. Then I do me, and people don't like it. And it's like, well, does that mean I'm a bad person now? No, it means that I'm just being me. Not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to love you. But just know, if you're being yourself, the right people will stick by you. People will come and go, but the right people will stick by you. And I promise, like... For as long as this website is a thing, I will keep making these gaming videos. I'm going to head back to the main channel. It's 2019. We starting the year off right. PG's coming. Joe's coming. These are my people. And I just pray that y'all find y'alls. And if y'all don't, and if and if y'all don't, bro, I pray that y'all find peace being alone. Because to be honest, that's two people, bro. I pray that y'all go travel. There's probably people in Australia and you're living in little Long Beach, California. Get your ass up. Go find you a friend in Australia. The world is huge, bro. There's, like I said, life is beautiful, but it's also what you make it. If you need help, call the number. If you don't, thank you for watching this video. And if you did watch this video and didn't need me to step on my soapbox, um, please hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video. When we come back, we will finish Monokuma's little plot twist. I'm, I'm excited to see what he has to say, and we'll keep the story going. Sorry this took so long, and yeah, peace, y'all. I don't care. This is Squad Song.